you know, Taylor Swift um, made her endorsement of Kamala Harris, which of course was expected uh, shortly after the debate the other night. She decided to do it, which in a lot of ways I actually don't think was a very smart move on her part because I think it kind of actually, it happened at a time where a lot of people were focused on the debate and it was almost like she could have waited a day to do it and probably would have had a lot more effect. But as has been pointed out by Brian in the chat, it actually has been effective because evidently over 300 some odd thousand people because of her tweet or her Instagram post decided to go out and register to vote. I, I don't know if they registered as Democrat. They In the presidential election, you don't have to. You just need to be registered to vote. But look, Taylor Swift. Most people don't. Most people don't register as Democrat. They just right. register no party. Well, we saw what's happened down here in Florida in particular. I mean, it's like 10 percent of the voter regist registered voters are registering as Democrats. 30 percent as Republicans and 60 uh, percent as independents. And yet all the Democrats here strategically do is register voters who are not registering as Democrats. That's yeah. how skilled they are strategically. Yeah. No, there's there is no question that this is significant in terms of could this potentially create some momentum in some places? Yes. But in many ways, if I was her publicist, that something like that would not have gone out. And somebody like Taylor Swift, look, not my cup of tea because I'm just not into that type of music, but I know a lot of people that are. And what I also know is that going to see her in concert is almost an exact replica of the broken system that we live in. It is unbelievably expensive to go see her shows. And she's not the only one. As you know, and Jen has given me a lot of shit for it, I'm a big Springsteen fan, and he has gone down that path of charging an arm and a leg for people to go see their shows. A lot of people do. I won't, I don't play that game anymore. But what do all of these particular pop culture individuals have in common? They're all spokespeople for the Democratic Party establishment. I don't even care that Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris. More power to her. If that's what she believes in, that's fine. You know what I do have a problem with? Her probably secret fiance, even though she says it's her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, who's one of the most popular, recognizable football players in the world today, signed a contract to be a spokesperson for Pfizer. This is all, that happened a while ago, didn't it? No, apparently it happened recently. Okay. I have a problem with that. And I would think everybody should have a problem with that. Why would you be a spokesperson for Big Pharma? Like, I don't understand. <coughs> It's, uh, it's, is it any different than being a spokesperson for big ag or or some sort of like they're they're all simping for somebody. What makes it even worse, though, is that Kelsey doesn't need the money. He's already got ridiculous endorsements, a ridiculous contract. But let's say let's pile it on a little more. I just don't let's think say, it's cool for you to, like, attach this to her. No, no, no. Okay. I'm saying that that is the that is the bigger periphery of the story because they are in a relationship. The relationship is constantly addressed on on the news. And of course it is now because the NFL season is in full swing. By the way, does anybody want to tell us how much time is left in the Bills Dolphins game? I don't want to keep Jen here any longer than she needs. I to didn't be. even know they were playing. They're playing right now. So How's my guy Mostert doing? Uh not playing tonight. Oh. Fuck me over in my fantasy week. I know that I'm never you picking a player never... ever, ever again because you I... No, no. Why what happened? Is he just just like out out? Yeah, he. Uh, I don't recall what the. Uh, oh, that's the not good at all. Is. Well, don't blame me. You, although I, I do believe easier. you did. You did pick him because of me. I did. I know. Not the smartest move. I know, but you did it for the. You you had good intentions. Nelson, whatever the reason is, it's not a good one. No, it's that's it's what bad. Ma that's the thing. But it, but at the end of the day, why is it bad? Clearly, they are both. It is all about Demone. The the. They are both him and her extremely like capitalist tools. So why would it matter? Like her endorsing Kamala is no like better or worse or different than him doing spokes being a spokesperson for pharma. They're all connected. What difference does it make? So she just endorsed a candidate that is okay with corporate whoredom in general. Like it's why is one worse than I don't know. It's all the same to me. They, they're obviously again there are three people intentional parts of it, useful tools and revolutionaries. These are one or the other. They, they're actually, these are people that are on the cusp of the top two. They're somewhere between those top two based on how much they're profiting, but yeah, they're not with us. And I'm going to share one final thought, which I know a lot of people have been talking about in the chat and in the news as of today. 
So Donald Trump has rejected any additional debates with Kamala Harris, and Kamala Harris is aching for more debates. You know what that tells me? That the internal polling is showing Trump in the right direction and Kamala in the not so right direction. That is the only reason why he would say, I'm totally done. I don't need another debate. And she's saying, no, debate me more. Debate me more. No. Nope. Because if they thought they were going to get the swing that they needed out of that debate, they wouldn't be asking for another one. In fact, if you remain, for anybody who doesn't have a short term memory in politics, and it seems like everybody does, it was Kamala saying before this debate that it's only going to be one debate. How did that change all of a sudden? Well, I thought Kamala destroyed Trump in the debate. I didn't watch it. So let me be very clear. I didn't watch it. I have no idea. I could not care less. But uh, it, they don't believe a word that comes out of either of their mouths. So there's no point in hearing a debate. But only when, Trump lies, apparently. <laughs> I don't believe either of them. 